Right, good afternoon everybody. Um, so now for something completely different, as they say. So I'm going to take you back uh, four and a half billion years. That's the time when our Earth was created. On the, time, on the screen here, you see a timeline, kind of a schematic timeline of the history of the Earth and of the solar system. So four and a half billion years ago, the Earth and all the planets were formed out of a dusty disk. A lot of material was left over, and that material kept hitting our planet, asteroids and comets that you may have heard about. Um, this led to what we call in the Hadean time. So the first 500 million years of Earth's history was named after the Greek god of the underworld, Hades, and the Greek god of the dead. And we suspect that it was named this way because asteroids and comets kept hitting the Earth, and there were thousands of times more volcanoes than, than there is today. So we get these artist renditions of a very hell-like early Earth. So over the past few years, scientists have also recognized that life on Earth originated back then. And in fact, our earliest form of life today on Earth, we know dates to about 4.3 billion years. So this begs the question, you know, if this was a really hell-like period in Earth's history, how and why did life originate? So enter meteorite impacts. Um, many of us and many of you may have heard about meteorite impacts because of their destructive uh, effects. So, you know, pictures of dinosaurs getting wiped out 65 million years ago. We do indeed suspect this is the case. Uh, so at 66 million years ago, uh, probably 65% of all life on Earth, all species were wiped out in addition to the dinosaurs. But my group is actually focusing on what might be the surprising beneficial effects of meteorite impacts. So it turns out impacts can create hydrothermal systems. So if you've ever been to Yellowstone National Park, New Zealand or Iceland on vacation perhaps, maybe dip to toe or your entire body in a hot spring, those are hydrothermal systems from two Greek words, heat plus water. So it turns out all the active systems on Earth today are in these volcanically active regions. That's the heat source. But impacts deposit a tremendous amount of energy into the crust of a planet, and they can also generate hydrothermal systems and form these giant salt crystals that you can see on the screen here. But that's not all the beneficial effects. Um, even the rocks that are melted by these impact events, there are pressures and temperatures thousands of degrees Celsius. It turns out these glasses that you can see on the bottom right of the screen here, these worm-like features are actually trace fossils where organisms burrowed into glass and made it their habitat. So what my research and my group's research is doing is showing that impacts, while they are destructive, we should actually think them as beneficial effects for life on Earth. We actually propose that life may have originated in an impact crater, and if you want to go to Mars to look for signs of life, that would be the best place to go uh, to. And so with that, thank you for your attention.